Hey, welcome back to the channel. So um, today we are we have fuel in the tanks for the first time, and uh, we have five gallons, two and a half gallons on each side. Marker's going to activate the uh, uh, shutoff valve down by my gas escalator, and then we we are set up here to do fuel, fuel flow test. Um, we've got the spout about even with where it comes out of the firewall there, and we're going to see. Uh, we're going to see what we get. Uh, we should, uh, you need to do two times your burn rate. Uh, so for this plane, that would be five gallons an hour. So we're looking to get one gallon in 12 minutes. Um, we have our doubts if that's achievable, but I do have a pump and it's just a question of do I need to run the pump full time or not. Um, <clears throat> so we're in the basically climb attitude with it sitting on its tail which gives us kind of the worst case scenario. And uh, we're gonna find out how much fuel we get. So as soon as we uh, get this rolling, we will fill you in. All right, so we got the pump running. Uh, we really had no choice about that once we analyzed it uh, because my pump is right here and my gas escalator is right here, but my outlet is right about here, which they're they're uphill. Of course, you saw how I designed this system so that my gas escalator is at the low point of everything. Fuel from the engine backwards and fuel from the tank forwards. So that puts us at a, a delta there. Um, so we're not surprised that we got nothing, um, but we are gonna test it in level flight just to see what we get. Uh, I can see the fuel really good on the tank here. So we're seeing how long it takes us to get a gallon uh, a gallon of fuel and um, it's going to be no time at all. <laughs> Parker will shut it off when we hit the gallon mark. You can see we're probably probably nearing a half gallon now and it's only been a minute and uh, 15 seconds. So uh, we are going to test it in level flight just to see what kind of flow rate we get there. Um, just in case I have the option to shut the pump off if I'm in, in level flight for a, a long distance. And the, the, the reason thinking not running the pump all the time versus having the option to shut it off some is, um, you know, I have a, I have a 10 amp uh, lithium battery. And so we, what we don't know yet, we've, we've done the calculations on paper, but what we don't know is how long is that battery gonna last. And if I'm reliant 100% on the pump, um, we've got to have battery to run it so that's really important uh we're getting uh we're getting up there oh yeah we're almost there all right that was uh two minutes and 38 seconds to get a gallon which is six times flow rate that we needed Roughly? Four times. Yeah. How many minutes? Two minutes and... Uh, two minutes and 38 seconds. Yeah. A little less than 4x. Yeah. Yeah, a little less than 4x, uh, the required flow rate, so... It stopped flowing, right? Uh, it did. So with the pump running, we have no problems. Uh, we have more, we have plenty of uh, plenty of fuel flow. I, now, one requirement is if we're gonna run the pump, um, I, we have to change the, uh, the float seat. Um, Scott gave me an additional one to put in there just in case I ran into this scenario and he, he probably already figured that I was going to based on his Minimax experience, so. Um, so we'll work on getting that changed out before we send fuel to the carb. So uh, right now it's still it's still dry. We'll get this fuel back in the tank, and uh, and we'll see uh, we'll see where we go where we go from there. We get all that done, and uh, we're happy with that other seat in there. Then we're going to be able to uh, crank this thing up. Um, all right, cool. All right, so we got the uh, we got the, the float seat out. Parker's just getting the carburetor put back together. It sits right underneath the back of the uh, right underneath the back of the float. There, you can see 
pushes that little pin inside of it up and down. And uh, what we have is, uh, this is the one we took out, which has a larger hole for a gravity feed system. Since we're using a pump, the one we're putting in has a little smaller diameter hole in it. So we'll get the car back together. Uh, and then we'll, uh, then we'll be ready to uh, put some fuel in the carb. Sweet. Yeah, so Parker's in the cockpit. He's going to run the controls in there. I'm going to get some practice out here getting it started. So um, yeah, we're just going to get up and running and see what, uh, see what the instrument panel tells us uh, about how things are set. So, all right, let's do it. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my lap so they can see the instrument panel. Right. And then I can hold it, and I can always pick it up later if I need to. Okay, so uh, fuel pump on. And if for some reason the throttle's reversed, which I don't think it is, uh, just if it goes crazy, just go, just go to the other direction. Okay, hold on. So. Are you cool? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now take the choke off. Chokes off? And then uh, mag on. Fuel pump on or no? Yeah, fuel pump on. Fuel pump on. Ignition on, one on. Yep. Here we go. You also have no oil temperature. Oil temp wasn't up yet. Uh, oil temperature just went up after turning the engine off. Really? Yeah. 105. I mean, it went up one degree, but yeah. Your RPM came alive. Your CHT came alive. Your EGT came alive, but your oil pressure and temperature did not change. Um. Yeah, that took about 40% throttle, by the way to start it and then I pulled it back to idle after you got it started. All right, so we got the engine running, which was great. It took a little bit to get it primed and, and uh, get it started up, but uh, we're there. So uh, again, but we had, to, we had to shut down right away because um, we were getting zero oil pressure. But then we went and checked the, uh, the hose where the oil goes down around the intake. Um, one of these up on top here, and this hose was full of oil, so, so we're definitely transferring oil. Uh, we believe that the sender is not matching to my uh, MGL instrument, so we're gonna have to, uh, and I, I changed it out once because I, we just couldn't, uh, we couldn't figure it out. Um, but I'm gonna go to MGL and ask them what, what they recommend to use with that instrument, so. So I'll get that. Yeah. So thanks for uh, thanks for watching the video today. Um, a lot more of this coming. So uh, it's my anniversary today. We got a dinner tonight, and uh, I'll catch you later.